So today we are going to discuss about the required conditions to form a kinematic chain. The required conditions to form a kinematic chain. What are the conditions to form a kinematic chain? Here three equations are there. N equation 1, n is equal to 2p minus 4, n is equal to 2p minus 4, one minute, n which is equal to 2p minus 4, this is equation 1 and j which is equal to 3 by 2 into n minus 2, this is equation 2 and equation 3, j plus h by 2 which is equal to 3 by 2 n minus 1 minus 2 this is equation 3 so here three equations are there right so this is the condition to form a kinematic chain where n is equal to number of links and h which is equal to number of higher pairs and p which is equal to number of lower pairs and j which is equal to number of joints right these first two equations we can apply to the kinematic chain is having only lower pairs whereas for equation 3 h is there h which means higher pair so this equation 3 is applied to the kinematic chain is having higher pair right so first two equations we can apply for lower pair and the last third equation we can apply for higher pair right we can apply for uh, the mechanism is having higher pair right so now generally the kinematic chain with four bar right four bar links i mean four links four links is called as four bar mechanism it's called as i mean uh, 4 or less than 4 is called as a simple kinematic chain whereas more than 4 links then it is called as a kinematic I mean compound kinematic chain right. So links number of links which is equal to 4 or less than 4 then it is called as a simple kinematic chain whereas more than 4 then it is called as a compound kinematic chain right. So it is necessary that each kinematic chain satisfy these equation equation 1 and equation 2 right. So, several uh, number of uh, methods are there to identify whether the given chain is a structure or unconstrained or constrained right so many methods are there here we are going to discuss about the criteria of constraint specified by a w klein right he specified three rules so these three rules is called as criteria of constraint see rule one i mean uh, left hand side is greater than right hand side then the given chain is a locked or structure whereas left hand side is equal to right hand side then the given chain is a constrained chain whereas left hand side is less than right hand side then the given chain is unconstrained. So, we can specify or we can identify the given mechanism uh, based on n number of uh, n which is equal to uh, 1 n less than 1 n greater than 1 n which means number of degree of freedoms. So, we can specify uh, the given uh, chain whether it is a structure or constrained or unconstrained based on this number of uh, degree of freedom also that we will dis that we discussed already in our previous uh, videos. So, here we are going to discuss about A W Klein rule right he specified three rules right. See here let us uh, solve a uh, few examples. So, let us consider first one already we know that this is a structure right. So, three it is a three links uh, number of links which is equal to three. So, it is a structure already we know that because n which is equal to zero in this case right. So, a number of degree of freedom which is equal to zero which means the given mechanism is a structure already we discussed in our previous uh, videos also. Let us check with these uh, equations right. Now, take first equation n which is equal to 2 p minus 4 right. So, number of links for this case which is equal to 3 because see here link 1, link 2 and link 3, 3 links are there. So, substitute n which is equal to 3 in this case and number of p which means number of pairs, number of pairs which means 2 uh, links are joined at a same point. See here link 1 and link 2 joined at point A and link 2 and 3 joined at B and link 1 and 3 joined at C. So, j 1, j 2, j 3 right j 1 which means joins whereas pairs which means two uh, links are joined at the same, same point right same nodes right. So, p which is equal to 3 in this case. So, substitute these values then you got 3 is not equal to 2 which means left hand side is greater than right hand side. So, this is the given uh, chain is a locked or structure already we know that right. So, here uh, it is a 4 bar mechanism we know that n which is equal to 1 it is a constrained uh, mechanism already we know that based on uh, number of uh, degree of freedom. Let us check with uh, these equations. So, same take uh, the equation 1 here number of links which is equal to 4 n which is equal to 1 in 2 and 3 and 4 4 links are there. So, n which is equal to 4 in this case and number of pairs 2 links are joined at same point. So, 1 and 2 one, I mean link 1 link 2 joined at point A and similarly B, C and D 4 uh, pairs are there. So, substitute P which is equal to 4. So, um, N which is equal to 4 and P which is equal to 4 in equation 1 then 
4 which is equal to 4, LHS which is equal to RHS which means the given chain is a constrained kinematic chain, right? So take uh, this fiber uh, mechanism, so totally N which is equal to 5, already we know that N is, N is greater than 1 in this case, right? So it is unconstrained motion, already we discussed in our previous slides also, I mean previous videos also, just go through that. And now we are going to take uh, equation 1. See n which is equal to 5 because 5 links are there link 1, link 2 and link 3, link 4 and link 5. 5, five uh, links are there so n which is equal to 5 and number of pairs also 5. See link 1 and link 2 joined at point A. A is a pair, B is a pair, C is a pair and D is a pair, E is a pair. right? So P which is equal to 5 substitute these values and finally you got 5 is not equal to 0 I mean 5 is less than 6. LHS is less than RHS, right? So, which means the given kinematic chain is unconstrained chain. Already we know that n is greater than 1. Degree of freedom for this case n is greater than 1 and degree of freedom for this case n which is equal to 1 and degree of freedom for this structure n which is equal to 0, right? Now, let us take this. So, the link 3 which is a ternary link, right? So, we can consider this link 3, ternary link is a single link, right? In this case. So, take uh, first equation, equation 1 in this case. So, n which is equal to how many links are there? Link 1, link 2, link 3 and link 4. So, n which is equal to 4 in this case, right? So, number of pairs, 4 pairs are there, right? See, number of pairs which is equal to 4. See, 1, 2, 3 and 4 pairs, right? So, substitute n and 4 p value, then you got 4 equal to 4. It is it's similarly, it seems like uh, the 4 bar mechanism. Right here, instead of single uh, link, uh, Turner links are there. That's it. But we consider this Turner link as a single uh, link, right? So this is the uh, uh, a constrained kinematic chain. Let us take uh, equation two, right? Now equation two, the n which is equal to same joint which is equal to how many joints? J which is equal to number of joints. So link one and link two joint at the point this is j1 uh, let me explain in next slide what is the difference between pairs number of pairs and number of joints okay joint 1 joint 2 joint 3 and joint 4 four joints are there substitute j which is equal to 4 and 4 which is equal to 4 so it's a given chain is a constrained kinematic chain right now let us take with uh, higher pair so totally three links are there link 1 link 2 and link 3 so totally three links are there so n which is equal to 3 right number of higher pair see the gear a and gear um, b gear a and gear b uh, contact at point c right so this is a point contact so this is a higher pair so h which is equal to 1 in this case right so substitute h which is equal to 1 and number of joints how many joints are there see uh, here uh, the link 2 is connected to link 1 this is one joint and link 3 is connected to link 1 this is one joint see totally two joints are there that's why j which is equal to 2 in this case and h which is equal to 1 and substitute all the values then finally we got 5 equal to 5 lhs equal to rhs then this uh, given kinematic chain is a constrained kinematic chain right now let us take this example so how many links are there n which is equal to 3 right so link 1 link 2 and link 3, 3 links are there, right? And link 2 and link 3 contact at point, uh, contact at this point, so higher pair which is equal to 1, this is a point contact, higher pair which is equal to 1, right? So how many joints are there? Only 2 joints are there, see? Link 2 joined at link 1, this is 1 joint and link 3 is joined at link 1, this is second joint, this is 1 joint and this is one more join. So, totally two joints are J. So, J which is equal to 2, right? So, substitute N which is equal to 3 and H which is equal to 1 and J which is equal to 2 in this case. See, J which is equal to 2 and H which is equal to 1 and N which is equal to 3. See, 5 equal to 5, then LHS is equal to RHS, then the given kinematic chain is a constrained kinematic chain, right? So, now let us take this. Here, there is no higher pair, only lower pairs are there. See, here the slider uh, connected to the link 1, it is a surface, right? So, it is a surface contact, right? So, there is no uh, higher pair. So, put h which is equal to 0 in this case. So, totally this term became 0, then equation it, it comes j which is equal to 3 divided by 2 into n minus 2, it seems equation 2, right? So, now we are going to calculate number of joints and number of links. Number of links we know that already link 1, link 2, link 3, link 4, link 5 and link 6 totally 6 links are there right 
so n which is equal to 6 in this case right 6 links are there and number of join now let me explain number of joins see here joint 1 link 1 and 2 joined at point A and link 2 and link 3 joined at point B right and moreover link 5 is also joined at point B here it is a ternary link ternary is converted into a binary then one ternary which is equal to two binary right so that's why here two joints are there j3 and j4 right so j1 um, here uh, j2 j3 j4 j5 j6 and j7 j6 which means the slider is connected to link 1 and here j7 which means the link 5 is connected to the slider right so totally seven joints are there substitute the values then we got a equal to a left, left hand side equal to right hand side which means what the uh, given kinematic chain is a constrained kinematic chain right this is how uh, you have to prove that right then take a second equation substitute higher path there is no higher path then uh, substitute zero then uh, same as it is we got the same right now let us uh, consider uh, this equa this uh, uh, example uh, now we can clearly uh, understand what is the difference between pair and join right now let us take uh, equation 1 in this case see determine whether this kinematic chain is a constrained or unconstrained or structure for this case right so here n which is equal number of links as we know that already 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 links are there so n which is equal to 6 in this case right then what about P number of pass pass which means see here this is link 1 link 1 it has two nodes A and B right so link 2 is there link 2 is also having two nodes C and D right so two nodes are joined at the same point B and C at the same point B right this is the link 1 and link 2 this is link 1 link 2 the link 2 joined at point B so this is called as a pair right whereas this is link 1 and two nodes are there in link 1 this is a and b now i am going to join link b in the middle of link 1 this is not a pair right this is a join right we are uh, uh, we have to take this for a join calculation not for uh, pair calculation right so now we know that n which is equal to 6 and number of pairs how many number of pairs are there see the link 1 and link 6 joined at point a g f d and c right so totally five joints are there i mean five pairs are there right so this is not a pair see link 3 is connected in between or middle of the link 4 this is not a pair similarly the link 4 link 4 is joined at the middle of uh, the link 1 at point b so point b and point e is not a pair right so totally five pairs are there so p which is equal to 5 substitute the values then we got 6 equal to 6 in this first equation so lhs equal to rhs let me check with uh, equation 2 so equation 2 j which is equal to number of joints are there number of joints uh, for example here number of joint two links are joined at point right here a is one joint two joint third joint fourth joint fifth joint now we have to take e is also joined because the link 3 is joined the middle of the link 4 right so this is sixth joint and this is seventh joint right so j which is equal to 7 and n which is equal to 6 we know that so 7 equal to 7 which means lhs equal to rhs so the result which is the given chain given kinematic chain is a constrained kinematic chain right so remaining things we will discuss in our next video right thank you